Yep. Good morning and welcome to St. Mark's Noonday Prayer. It's Michael and Stuart here. Good morning. Who's there? I don't think we have anyone yet. As y'all, uh, let's see, there's Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Say hi and write any prayers that you have or thanksgivings in the comments as well. And we'll get started in just a few minutes. Our service begins on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. Hi, Edie. Welcome. Try to make this bigger. Hello there. Yeah, we'll get started in just about two minutes. Hi, Henry and Edie and Amanda. We'll pray for peace, Henry. For those who've just joined on, uh, put any prayers that you have or thanksgivings. Uh, say hello in the comments. Oh, Brian. Yes, job offer. That's wonderful. And Patricia, good morning, good afternoon. Like you, I'm always thankful for noonday prayers. I look forward to it all morning. It's a wonderful respite. I have that it's noon, so we'll get started. We're on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. We'll, we'll start with a little bit of silence. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. Be. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet, and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself, and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. A short meditation from me. 
this morning as I regularly do. I read morning prayer today alone. And my very, very favorite psalm was the psalm of the day. It's Psalm 62, and it reminds me of a spiritual truth that I need to hear every single day lest I get into trouble. It starts off with the words, For God alone my soul in silence waits. From God comes my salvation, my wholeness. Oh, what meat is there in that one particular phrase? From God alone, my soul in silence waits. Sometimes I have to live in the pause for the infilling. Uh, the pause is, uh, there's wonderful words on that. When agitated or doubtful, I pause and ask God for the next right thought and the next right action, assured that the answers the infilling. There is a hole in all our souls. St. Augustine used to call it the capax dei, the capacity of God, a God-shaped emptiness inside. And oh my, what a tendency we have to fill it with all kinds of people, places, things, and situations. I saw a 12-cylinder gold Mercedes not too long ago that was <laughs> as big as my apartment. And I thought, oh, if I just had that. And I thought, well, here I have a, a Mercedes-shaped emptiness inside. If I could just fill it with that, I would be fine for at least six hours until the bill comes. <laughs> and then I'd be in real trouble. It's for God alone my soul in silence waits. God the invisible, God the untouchable, God the mysterious, God the transcendence. And yet that's... That's what we're told. And you know, in this psalm, just in case we don't hear it, this is Psalm 62, It's that's the first verse, and it comes back to us again in verse 6. Uh, sometimes we don't hear correctly. We don't hear accurately. So we have to go back and repeat it. And the second time, there's a little bit of parallelism here. For God alone, my soul in silence wait. Truly. My hope is in God, just God, not the Mercedes, uh, not my friend Michael here, <laughs> not the church, not the creation out here, not people, places, things, and situations, only this transcendent, invisible, protective source. And then there's a funny, it goes on. <laughs> In the, in the next to the last verse of that psalm, just in case we didn't hear it, we've heard it twice. It says, God has spoken once. Twice have I heard it, that power belongs to God. And I'll leave you with that. Uh, only God can fill the hole in the soul, the capacity for God, the capax dei. Nothing else can, even though we've tried just about everything. There you go. Amen. We'll continue with our prayers in the middle of page 106. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed Lord, be Jesus. thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cry come to thee. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In our St. Mark's prayer list, we pray for the Episcopal Church, for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, the Presiding Bishop, Larry, our Bishop, our clergy, Billy, Joanna, Michael, Patricia, Susan, and Stuart, our staff and vestry. 
In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Delhi, the United Church of North India. In our diocesan prayer list, we pray for St. Francis House and its ministries, Camp Mitchell and its ministries, and we pray for Trinity Van Buren, Holy Cross West Memphis, and the Keller Fund for Ministry Board. We pray for peace. We pray for an end to racism, terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, and persecution. We pray for all our St. Mark's staff, especially this week, Linda King, Discipleship and Evangelism Coordinator. And for all our parish ministries, especially this week, the St. Mark's COVID-19 Task Force. For the safety of first responders, healthcare workers, and those in the military, especially Megan, Sam, Breen, Marshall, and Garrett. For all families expecting children, Marley and Taylor Gamble and the Herod family. And we give thanksgivings, let me look it up. We give thanksgivings for the birth of Charlotte Louise Herod, uh, Lauren and Christian Herod, the, and uh, John and Kathy Allen. We pray for those commended to our prayers, Cole, Austin, Rachel, Betsy, Craig, Mary Sue, Suzanne, Paul, Janet and Merle, Adam, Jan, Shelley, Margaret, Blake, Jim, Amanda, John, Christine, Bob, Monica, Robin, Jerry, Jerry Didier, Gary, Gloria, Carol, Susan, Jeannie, Rusty, Blake, Seal, Vincent, Buddy, Lynn, Faulkner, Peyton, Trudy, Judy, Avery, Ellis, Frankie, Robert and Joanna, the Webbers, Alexis, Pierce, Sage, Scott, Chanel, Tamara. We pray for anyone who's celebrating a birthday today, anyone who's celebrating wedding anniversaries, and we pray for those who have died, the repose of the soul of Kay Jacob and Leroy Cooper. We pray for the Ray family who mourns Leroy. I invite your own prayers at this time. Pray for Melinda, who died night before last, and for her mother Tate, and for her sister Molly, who are grieving. Pray for Barbara Jo, and for her husband Jim, and for Shane, for Adam, for Gary, who's to have surgery tomorrow, and for Margaret, for Lynn, for Robert, and for Reese, who are traveling, for Stephen, Frank, for Tim and Ann, for Russ, who's traveling, In our Facebook prayer list, we pray for peace. We pray for Brian's new job offer at Geico. We give thanks for our noonday prayers. We pray for Sam's classmate, Roger, who's in the ER with cancer. We give thanks for our St. Mark's family. We pray for Rosemary's family who's traveling today. We give thanks for Stuart. We pray for Barbara Jo. We pray for Edie's grandson and his family who's a missionary from Rome, Italy.
Any prayers that you have that are known between you and God, I invite you to lift them up now. For Harold on his birthday. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for uh, joining us for Noonday Prayer. Uh, I think you're up tomorrow, so we'll see you same time, same place tomorrow. Bye, guys. Good afternoon.